Hi guys, it's your girl Tara and it is midday. Let's talk with Tara. I am so excited to be on today. It is March the 6th. It is, we're already in the third month of 2019 and I'm so excited. Um, this month I am, I will be in New York for all you guys that are listening in the New York area from March 15th through the 19th. I'll be downtown, the um, Hilton, Mar the, the Hil I think I'm going to be at Hilton. No, the Marriott. Downtown, downtown, the Times Square. Um, I'll be there with some friends, but I'll be there with my new book, Let's Talk, Breaking Unwanted Cycles, A Guide to Living a More Fulfilled Life. So come check me out. I'll be posting live. I'll be going live. I am so excited. So listen, you guys. Today, if you've been following me, hey, like and share. Do that because this message, this topic is going to change somebody's life. If not yours, it's going to change somebody's life and it's going to bring so much clarity. How understanding, understanding can prevent disappointments in your life. How understanding can prevent disappointments in your life. So we're going to talk about that today. And I got my computer up because I wanted to, um, my phone up, because I, 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 we've been talking about, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook and YouTube, I've been talking about the last three or four weeks about disappointments. I've been sharing some of my personal experiences with disappointments and how I've overcome them. I've given you tips on how to um, identify and uh, be healed from those past disappointments. But today I want to share something because I, I had someone post something and it was so profound how it related to disappointments. And this is what I wanted to talk to you, talk to you guys about this week. And I'm going to share this with you. Let me see if I can get it pulled up really quickly. And it says this. I made a post. And I share this with my clients all the time. And for you guys that don't know who I am, I am a professional counseling life coach. I help women heal from their past while helping them strategize their future. That's what I do. I love to help women. I'm an advocate for youth, but women, you are my core because I've had so many difficulties in life to where I had to inhale from disappointments and past hurts and pains from different situations and people in my life that, you know, I, I've learned a secret. I learned a secret. I'm going to share some of that today. And I've been sharing on my post because I really want you guys to understand. And I teach these classes. I teach a six months rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life for women who are ready to live, truly live, not just live, but truly live their best lives, to be healed from those past emotional pains so that they don't have another blockage or any more walls in their way that's preventing them from living the life that they want to live, that's, that's been creating those unwanted cycles in their lives. So that's my kind of little segment for right there. But let me just share this. Now, what I've learned is this. Throughout my almost 50 years of life, I've learned this. And it's so profound. With all, and, and, and for you guys that know me, I am a Bible scholar. That's what I do. I love the word of God. That's what I stand on. And that's my standard. And I'm not ashamed of it. I don't just live it. Just speak it, but I try my best to live it out every day. Good, bad, or indifferent. But the word of God tells us this. With all your getting, get an understanding. That's what it says in Proverbs. With all your getting, get an understanding. And a lot of you guys that, you know, y'all kind of uh, Bible scholars and follow the word of God or whatever. Y'all heard that, you know, we've been hear hearing it for years and years and years. But what does it mean? Because if we get a lot of information. We got a great information, but we never get understanding regarding that information. So it causes disappointment. What do I mean when I say that? A lot of times when we don't have understanding, it causes disappointment. You have people that speak your language. 
What do I mean, Tom? Tom, what do you mean we speak? Is it English? No, not English, but yeah, English too. Uh, do you speak German? Do you speak Spanish? You know, they speak your language. So when we have people that speak our language, what happens is this. We feel like, oh, we have a bond with that person. They have the same thought pattern as we do. We think in our mind that they have some of the same beliefs that we believe. Because they're saying some of the same things. Um, and I was listening. I was kind of strolling through my Instagram and I saw this. And it just reminded me of how when we don't have an understanding, disappointments are bound to happen. When we don't have an understanding, disappointments are bound to happen and occur in our lives. And disappointments are simply this. It's an unmet expectation. Dis disappointments are unmet expectations that cause frustration, that cause anger, that cause bitterness, resentment, hatred. It causes low self-esteem and a whole plethora of other emotions, all because we had an expectation that wasn't met because we didn't have an understanding. So let me just share this. I was I was reading a post and they had um, different sayings that were so similar from different religious segments. Um, I'm going to just read a few of them. It says Buddhism, hurt not others with what which pains yourself. Christianity says do unto others as you as you would have them do unto you hinduism says treat others as you would you as you would be treated islam says do unto all men as you would as you would wish them done unto you while judaism says what you yourself hate do not to a man now just listening to that it all sounds the same basically you know from different religious beliefs what they're saying is the same but the key in this is is one thing understanding even though buddhism hinduism christianity islam judaism and many other religions say listen to me closely they say things that are very similar but they believe something totally different and that's where understanding comes in because a person says something that's closely related to the, some of those same things that you say you believe that they have the same belief system that you have and they don't and that's where disappointments show up because we don't have an understanding. We just hear a lot of words and we believe because, oh, they say things like I say, they must believe what I believe. And that's not always true because remember this, perception is everything. We perceive people from how we perceive ourselves. If we are loving, kind, giving people, we think everybody else should, that we come in contact with should be loving, kind, giving people. Well, some, some people, they're not giving. They're not giving. They may be loving, but they don't give. They don't believe in that. So we have to get an understanding. We have to get an understanding on so many different levels because personality plays a major part in when you are connected with people, whether it be a re intimate relationships, friendships, partnerships, career, family, whatever it is, all of this stuff plays a major part. Understanding, understanding personality. Because guess what? I teach a, a whole workshop on personality diversity. And one thing I know, a lot of relationships have dissolved and have not been reconnected because people don't understand others 
personalities and how they work and how they brain function. And that's a major part. That all goes back to understanding. So when we have understanding, we can prevent a whole lot of disappointments that occur within our life, within our relationships, within our um, partnerships, within our family, because we have an understanding. So I wanted to share, because I won't be on long today, and I try not to be on longer than 15, 20 minutes, because I want to just share this, because you can always get the clip, the re replay. If you join mine, I'll put it, I'll join uh, my email. I send you out a replay to listen to it. You can listen to it over and over, or you can go to my, my YouTube channel at Let's Talk Tara and listen to all of my um, videos that I've uploaded on this subject because I have a new, oh wow, let me just throw this clip in. I'm so excited in April. We have the new YouTube Let's Talk Tara show that will be live, you guys. Woo! I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yes. But let's get back to understanding. Let's get back to how, how understanding can prevent disappointment so let me say this um and i had to write a little bit of notes because it's so much so the first thing that you need to do when we talk about understanding it's just simply ask you guys so often we just assume we assume because we sound alike we do things alike that we have the same beliefs and that's not true we that's just simply not true and what happens is we never ask we always assume we listen to what people tell us we have great conversations on that but we never just ask them what do you what's your core belief just simply ask and then once you ask them what's your core belief ask them to give you some examples of some scenarios so that you can get an understanding on what they believe because and let me just go back and backtrack a little bit because people will say oh you know what i just love children i love 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 children and i have i'm working on my doctorate degree in in um diversity gender diversity and i've learned so much you do, do you realize that a lot of people that are pedophile that are that are pedophiles they love children they love they truly love children they love them they love them and they say things i think children are the light of the world that they should be adored that 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 children should be kept safe that children should be a main priority that we have to make sure we help our children so that they can succeed to be great adults this is some things that pedophile people that that are pedophiles believe they say this and they they really believe this thing they believe this but their belief is their sayings and their understanding is this i love children and because i love children I want to have intimate relationships with them. Now, to someone that's not a pedophile, we looking like that. That's not love. That's sick. That's what we say. That's not love. That's hate. That's harmful. But in their belief system, how they believe, they believe that it's okay to be sexually intimate with a child because in their mind, they say. It's love and it's natural. And guess what? It is natural. But is it natural for a, a, an adult to be having sex with a child? Hmm. And we're not going to go on that today. But I'm just using that example because so many times we hear what people say, but we never get an understanding of what they truly believe. So first thing we need to do, you guys, just simply ask. Ask, what do you believe? And ask what with an open ears and an open heart and an open mind. Because a lot of times we ask and we ask thinking we know the number, know the answer. We ask, want to reply. And we ask without just being having ears to hear. So simply ask. And then after you simply ask, 
then you say, hey, give me some scenarios. What do you mean when you say that? I always ask. I always ask my clients. I always ask um, couples because I do a lot of couples counseling. And that's another issue. Whoop. We won't go there today. I don't think I have enough time. But this might have to be a part two. But I always ask them, what do you mean when you say certain things? What does that mean to you? If you could describe it to me or give me some scenarios, what would it look like? Give some examples. And that way you can get an understanding of what, how they, of what they say and what they believe. And then the next thing is this. Get in their environment. See them. You need time to be able to be around a person in their environment, not your environment, but in their comfortable spot. Because, you know, when you meet people, when you get around people, when you connect to people, we all do this. We put on our best face because we want to make sure we impress people. We put on our best face. But guess what? When we in our own, when you get home, the real you shows up. You know, for me, you know, you're getting out of all those clothes. You're cute when you go out, but when you get home, you're stripping that makeup off, you're taking them undergarments off, and you just let it all hang loose. So you want to get with people in their own environment. So when you get with a person and you and you're able to observe them in their own environment, what happens is this you're able to get a better understanding of not just the words that they say, but what they truly, their core beliefs. You, you're able to get an understanding of their core beliefs because guess what? Every actor has a put, have to put their part down sometimes. Eventually, they, gotta, they can't play their part all the time. So you're able to get an understanding of what they believe and how they believe it and what what drives them because our belief is belief whatever we believe is what really drives us so we have to get that so let me just share this because my time is almost up oh you guys oh you all are, it's almost up so how getting an understanding can prevent disappointments one we want to just simply ask ask them ask the person what do you believe I hear you say that um, if it's relationships, I hear you say that, wow, I believe in monogamy, being monogamous. What does that mean to you? What does it mean? Because to them, monogamy mean, may mean you and I together, but you and I together, we're going to connect sexually with another couple and we're going to be monogamous. I couple counsel. I, 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 I counsel couples, so... This is some things that's in their mind. So that's monogamy to them. So you simply ask. Two, you ask them to give you some examples. Explain to you what that means when they say that. So that you can get a imagery in your mind of what they're saying. And then thirdly, get in their space. See them in their zone. Get around them when they are in their comfortable space. Give it enough time so that you can see what they say. Because remember this, it's not what we say, it's what we do that tells our belief. It's not what we say, it's what we do that really that tells us what we believe. Because we say a lot of stuff, but our actions tell the truth. So this is your girl, Tara. This is, day is almost over, um, but this has been Let's Talk with Tara. You guys, if you haven't been following me, I have a campaign. I am trying to reach 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube. So if you're listening, make sure you share. Follow me on my Facebook page at Tara T. Stallings. Go to my YouTube page and subscribe and tell a friend to subscribe. Because I, in April, I'm starting this wonderful, it's going to be real, raw, and revelant. Let's talk with Tara. Real, raw, and revelant topics that nobody talks about that's been plaguing people, men and women, 
throughout life that causes us not to live a life full of purpose and joy, that keeps us behind a wall and creating unwanted cycles that keep us trapped in conundrums in our life, not seeing our full purpose and destiny. So girl, you guys, I love you. I'll talk to you next week. Remember, my New York people, I'll be in New York March 15th through the 17th. So check me out. Follow me on Instagram at Let's Talk Tara. But, but go to my YouTube uh, channel and subscribe for me. I appreciate you guys. Until next week, this is your girl Tara. Let's talk.